Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of my YouTube channel. My name is Kim. Uh, recently, I got a lot of uh, direct message regarding to how did I get a first job in tech, and I really want to take this opportunity to share with you guys of what the approach that I take that to get me the really first job without any experience in tech. Uh, and hopefully this is really a great resource for your journey as well because I think when I first started out I really want this resource to be available at that time so uh, to speed up my process uh, there's four steps basically to look for a really first job as your resume uh, which is the most important factor uh, to get a first tech another uh, criteria is extremely important is your github portfolio where do you present your product to the company that you're applying for and how your code is performing really well uh, so that they can pick your and uh, give you a call uh, when you are ready uh, the third is the job search where is the right way that you use the keyword or where to look for a job that you're really aiming for and the fourth step is obviously the interview which is the step that you need to have a lot of time for practicing first of all in terms of the resume yay all of how we're studying for like three four months or even half a year you're ready to get into the market and try to find what is there uh, some of the quick note on the resume I think is really good to put it in either you are looking you are fresh uh, computer science just get out of college look for a job or you are a person who used to be in another field and trying to look for a new job as well or you kept like a time period off uh, definitely a timeline is where really important what did you do as a previous job try to just minimize to put in any experience that is really close to tech for example myself i used to be an auditor but i relatively work a lot with developers so i will um, mention that communicate and uh, work in the multiple project with developer or even the same software that you are trying to use that relate to tech if you are you jira before which is a platform where you uh, has a project lying on for this tech industry the next one is if you are a tech student for say you join a boot camp for like three months i think those are experience you can put on the resume uh, highlight what skill did you learn what kind of language that you you learn uh, going through going to javascript css or react native which is uh, what I learned and what ca what have you built for example you build a landing page for a website and then you show up in the github and you can just write down store information but be really concise about what you put on your resume because recruiter might only take like five minutes to look through if they're really interested but then it took them five seconds to go through like maybe a hundred or fifty resume at the time and also don't forget to put your LinkedIn LinkedIn link on your resume so whenever they click on it they can really easy just uh, trying to see your LinkedIn profile and what experience you had in the past yes you can do it just uh, give it a try and let me know how this it go with the, the job position, aiming for keyword that you're trying to accomplish, either you are a student. Keep it really short. Don't put it a really long sentence. And be really uh, quantitative, uh, be really short in the sense that put a percentage of what you accomplished, maybe narrow down with your accomplishment. And some keyword is either you are a front end or back end or full stack what did you learn and the kind of product that you're looking for don't omit any important information for example your timeline where you don't work you can just put a student joining bootcamp that is also a relevant experience that you can show up to recruiter i try to break into the tech industry that is actually what I put on my resume, which is so they kind of ask those questions if they get interested as well. Like, uh, so why do you decide to make a career switch and not 
working for no period of time because I think I'm really passionate about coding. So I expressed myself, uh, want to uh, join this industry as a fresh starter and I'm willing to start from the beginning. And yeah, the conversation is really impressive, uh, really interesting to share. Um, the next point is your portfolio. This is actually where you show your product to the recruiter and also the, the, uh, the senior developer team. Because uh, I actually asked some of my managers previously, how did you decide to take me as a good candidate for this job? So they basically, they tell me, oh, I go through your resume and it's pretty decent, um, decent project and you kind of show up show your skill and what we are actually looking for basically in your github you whatever code that you put in show it in a clearer way for example you have to have a readme to describe the project that you're working on in what kind of language don't just upload your code in github that is not a good way because everyone can do it in order to be outstanding than the other candidate you have to actually take time write out description so imagine if you go to a supermarket choose for a product would you just pick a product or you actually looking for a pretty one those are like a if you have a good cover cover page then it's a, a good way that you can show them uh, you're actually taking the time to build a project and uh, and put in the time your energy every single day for it uh, so I will show you some of my uh, github portfolio and how did I actually demo it uh, to in a job application so basically I, I'm a mobile developer so I kind of showcase my app portfolio that I built yeah so I try to be a little bit creative in the sense that uh, the project that can uh, demonstrate myself and some of the interesting factors about me my name and my photos where i've been traveling i am i love traveling so i really love to build any kind of uh, app that kind of relate as you can see this is like a pretty simple airbnb that i learned how to build when i first started it yeah in niagara Falls, which is a really popular uh, fall in the, in ontario canada yeah and really showcase your code and don't forget you have to complete the project just don't like start it and if you, when you get discouraged you don't finish it and show it into github at this way that you would able to demonstrate your ability to take on the task and complete it in a really um in a decent amount of time yeah so you have the project, you have the resume ready. Now, where are you looking for it? First is the company website is the most popular where people uh, choose to apply for. If you're looking for a bank, then go to some company bank, try apply for the Roche software developer or front end developer. Um, personally, in my experience, my previous job, like any job that I apply or I get interview is through LinkedIn. Basically, LinkedIn is where I find the experience and the types of description and also starting to look for a, a, a programming language that I'm aiming for. And also, I heard a lot of people go through job fair where they have a lot of chance to talk with the recruiter and managers for roles that they are looking for. and talk to them, stay the experience, and maybe you can get a job without even before you even apply and get to know the requirement and a sense of the market like that you have a better prepare for what you need to study. So in the, and you can see on the left side is there's a lot of job fair event in Toronto basically now. If you're in COVID, just go Google it and you will see a lot of it just need to attend it maybe recruit you won't get a job at that point but you can be get a better idea of what should be prepared and what is expected from a candidate indeed is where a lot of people are going through i applied through indeed i got a couple interview but majority of time is i got an interview is from linkedin um i was a mobile developer so i tend to 
put in the right keyword is so important. If you look for a front end, then just put the front end developer experience. They have a experience level. If you look for an entry, you can narrow down your search because if you are an entry level and you apply for senior, definitely you won't get those advantage. Uh, if you're looking for a software engineer, then put it in. Anything that you like, you just have to put in the time and the right keyword. Um, I'm pretty sure at this point you already did or if you don't get an interview, maybe you had a lot of time right now to prepare for the next stage is the interview because when you're applying for a job, it might take a month that you can hear from them back. But if they want to get you and give you an interview, it's really quick. It might be just one or two days. You need to be ready at that point. And the next, next day in my interview, uh, this is really a pretty interesting experience. And there's usually is a three stage for a tech a job that you're applying to. So the first day you basically get a phone call. Hey, we'll look at your resume and we would like to have a chat, a quick chat with you about what are you looking for, introduction about our company and whether we are a, uh, a good fit right now before proceeding your resume. These are, I think these are so important. It might be like 80% of the time that uh, you will be selected. So be prepared. If you have time, even if your English is not your first language, try to prepare a paragraph and mention these are the introduction about myself, where did I go to school, uh, what I have learned, what kind of language I am familiar with, and what was my past experience. I joined a bootcamp last year uh, doing React and React Native. I'm really passionate about coding, so at this point, I'm looking for a really um, starting an entry-level uh, software engineering role. Yeah, congratulations if you move to the next day, uh, which is also a scary step where you have to have two, usually two options. Uh, some company prefer giving you a remote coding interview or even online interview. And uh, another is a tech home assignment where it gives you like around one week to, to finish the assignment and the coding class. Um, for the remote interview, usually is that if you are looking for a front end developer, you definitely at this point you are kind of ready how to create a button and how to make it simple, like a round button symbol. Um, and what is the component that you're looking for? How to make a tag align in the center of the web page? Yeah, I think if you are ready, then uh, you are good to go. Just had to learn a lot of coding question. Um, I would definitely say for coding interview is different company to company. If you're driving for your first job and don't get the courage, if you don't have any um, interview from a big company, usually startup will be a good way that for your first uh, for your first job as well because startup requirement usually is not high as a big tech startup you will be you also has to do a coding interview but maybe it more hand-on experience you don't have to do a lot of data structure intensely cold question but maybe like a project based like uh can you give us how to make a button to navigate to another page so those are the really if you already build your portfolio you kind you will have you can take like you can say about it and what you have done. I think you are doing great. You have enough skill. It's just if you got lucky and you are the qualified candidate that I'm looking for. Congratulations! Good to the third stage where you will be talking with the team members or a partner regarding to the culture fit interview. Um, usually they will share about what what is the candidate are lo they're looking for and you can you had a really good chance to ask about the question the culture and what is the expectation and what kind of programming language will be used most in the company there yeah um congratulations i think th at this stage you will have a better uh understanding of what is the step to find your first 
job and don't get discouraged it is a really stressful time and it's actually a full-time job if you're trying to looking for a job yeah um, it might take one or two months but either at what state that you're in you get an interview is great if you haven't got yet which means you still have a lot of time to practice this. just like I did I take a month to get ready for my project portfolio but also at the same time I go to resource on my website and see how people do the interview so when I got an interview I get a better prepare and really um, really talk really solve myself better <laughs> yeah thanks guys for supporting my channel uh, if you like my content please subscribe to my channel so i can and leave a lot of comments what kind of content that you really want to get on the next video and hopefully i give you enough information about my personal experience when i try to look for uh, my really first job and uh, please tell me how it go i really definitely will I believe that you will have be successful in this stage because you're already here. You, your hard work will be paid up pretty quickly. Yeah, see you guys next time. Bye bye.